you are about to see a Fix It Friday video where an it person with very little technical skill or knowledge would attempt to fix something. This is not a how-to video and is likely to be factually incorrect and at times possibly dangerous. Please don't copy Kip and see this video for limited entertainment purposes only. Roll titles! In today's video, we're going to be looking at my dirty bottom on my iron. Now, this is basically caused by just sort of print transfers like that and just general grub and grime just sticking onto the surface of the sole plate of the iron. And we're going to try and get this off by using some of this. Now, this is faultless iron cleaner. There are other brands available. Um, but I've used this one before and the results have been really good and hopefully it can turn this disgusting mucky sole plate into something a lot cleaner and smoother relatively quickly so I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible today so no tricks no gimmicks just content <laughs> so um, let's get the iron switched on now you want the iron hot but you don't really want it to be steaming or indeed super hot. So I've actually got it on the synthetic setting. That should hopefully do this. So uh, yeah, we'll just wait for the iron to warm up. I did do a video on this iron. It's actually quite interesting. I'll put the link in the corner, that one or that one. I can't remember which corner it is. Um, but yeah, it's a steam generator iron and it served me really well. There's just got this dirty bottom issue. Right, okay, so what I've got here is a tea towel. So you need something that is 100% cotton. So don't get any microfiber cloths or anything like that. Really, you need something that's just entirely cotton and something you don't mind getting a bit dirty. We just get the cleaner, take the tab off, and uh, it says squirt about two inches. So that's like that, isn't it? So um, I'm just gonna use the squares on here. That is hot, and we basically just got to rub the iron in a circular motion over the goo. It's weird, it smells like candles. Oh, look at that! So if we put it on a clean bit of cloth now. Yep, definitely getting cleaner. Another little go. Now the thing is with this product, you can actually use it on things like hair straighteners and curling tongs, which I think is great. But yes, it's definitely cleaning my dirty bottom. Just applying a bit of downward pressure. Oh yes. <laughs> I really need a new ironing board. There's a Joseph and Joseph one that's like over hundred pounds. Very tempted by that. Cause I do genuinely love ironing. There we go, look. That's the dirt that's come off. And um, well, there we go. <laughs> that is so much better, look at it. Now what you're meant to do is once the iron is cold, you're meant to give it a clean with a dry cloth and that will get rid of any remaining bits of iron cleaner and uh, it should get these little last little blibs off. But I won't do that in this video because it will take too long for the iron to cool down. But I'm really, really impressed with that. That looks so much better than it did. And uh, it just means that it will glide across clothes a lot more easily, which is very handy because I've got a lot of ironing to do because we've not long got back from holiday. There is the proof. <laughs> what was on there is now on here and I can just chuck this into the wash and I'll probably just use it in future to clean this because uh, I've been a bit lax on cleaning this. So there you go, a really quick and cheap way to clean your dirty bottom of your iron. Hope that's been interesting for you. If it has, then please do give a little subscribe, drop a comment below, how do you clean your iron? Please don't bother telling me you don't iron because if you don't iron, you're mental and I don't like you. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, it's game over.